welcome back to another episode of Resurrected Motorsports. What are we doing in this episode? We are installing the S Tech Switch system and giving a review on it. That's correct. And we're fighting the coronavirus. Yes. Not personally, just as a nation. We hope y'all are staying safe. Check out the video. So we are currently running the wiring. You probably can't see, but we're going in and we've got to go behind the fender liner. And my fender liner is real dirty. Something I want to show you guys when you're taking your glove box off, this may seem pretty simple. There's a slit in the side of the glove box. You can pop, pop it out at the bottom on here and then it'll be free, but it'll be hung by this little arm. There's an oblong hole slit in the side of the glove box. Just press it up and it'll go into that oblong hole and then it'll pop out. So that'll keep you from breaking this little arm that is, uh, it's kind of like a damper for your glove box. So be careful with that. The boot that we're gonna be coming in through is right up underneath there. We're gonna bring the wiring harness in right there because the switches are going to go right there in the factory position. So we'll feed it back through here. <clears throat> okay, we have the wire ran in this, in this side, in this side the cab, inside the cab. The instructions go ahead and tell you after you get this ran how to um, how to run the wiring for the actual uh, brain itself. So you've got a negative wire terminal right here that we're going to grab power from. We're going to grab hot at the battery, but we also bought the optional 60 amp relay and the low voltage cutoff. So the accessory wire is going to go into the low voltage cutoff um, fuse tap. I wonder where we're tapping into the fuse at to the switch housing. We got that done. Output connectors ground. That's your 60 amp breaker and then back to the battery. So we're good there. That's weird. <clears throat> it keeps kicking on my lights and all kinds of stuff because I'm removing this ground cable, but I unhooked the power on the battery, which means there's a capacitor or something in the system holding power without the battery even hooked up. Um, we should go ahead and disconnect the ground cable too. <clears throat> like responsible human beings, we did not. Do as I say, don't do as I do. That's a saying, that's a real saying. Power to the 60 amp, where should we mount the 60 amp breaker at? Do they have a good idea for that? <clears throat> I wonder if we can put it on our mount when it comes in. So on our S-Tech system, we got the low voltage cutoff. Oh, don't go away, screw. And one of the things you can get, it's a couple bucks. I think it's actually useful, not just neat. This is how you actually set everything up is inside here. This is a clear, like a smoke screen, so you can actually see the value on it by just looking underneath the hood. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the back one. We're not gonna take off the front one, um, the protective screen. We're not gonna take off the front one until we get this thing installed, but we'll go ahead and take off the back one. Nice. I would like to mount it. So I'm mounting the low voltage cutoff right now, right here. There is a wire harness that goes behind there. It's like a main body harness. If you choose to drill into this plastic surround, do not go all the way, like I wouldn't even go all the way through it. Just get a hole big enough to, for your screw start and don't use a long screw. I'm using one that's only gonna go inside at about an eighth of an inch and it's flat. It doesn't have a point to it. So having said all that, if you choose to do what I did, Listen to those tips at least. I'm gonna mount the 60 amp breaker after I get my permanent mount for the S-Tech um, brain in here so that I can possibly come off of it and see where this is gonna set and set this beside it. So the 60 amp breaker install is gonna be later. 
Not right now. Sorry if y'all can't hear me. I had to turn the heater on. I was freezing. Man, sometimes popping those clips out is scary. And it sounds like you're gonna break everything. This needs to come all the way out. So we've got that out. We've got a screw there we need to remove. I don't know if you guys and gals can see inside here or not, but I'm gonna try to make this at least a little bit where you can see here. Okay, it says remove that screw. I made sure I didn't lose it. So now we've got to remove this piece. Sometimes it always, always feels like you're afraid. Woo! So many things to unplug. I wonder at this point, is it taking it all the way out? I just pull these screws out. That would save me from unplugging a lot of harnesses. Let's see what he does. Wish I knew what size those were. Man, they're small. We are now taking these little screws out so I can get the pocket out. We've got to cut a hole in the pocket and then we'll be able to screw our switch panel in. I'll show you that in a minute. Also, we have our wiring harness inside the vehicle now it's going to come up behind you see my finger behind these two plugs and run right over and out that part so i'm going to take it this is not going to be something i can probably do with one hand so i'm going to get it to come out right here but you're not going to get to see that so we now have the wire coming out of the dash I've got to cut a hole in this and then I will show you cut a hole in the back side of this and then I'll show you once it's all mounted in here what it looks like. Okay, part of the install uses these little micro, they're called added circuits and they're really handy. I haven't found anything yet that I didn't really like them for. Hey guys, here's the money shot of the switch panel after install. So we've got the six switch row, two, two sets of three. All of them have power to them, even though I've only got one actually hooked up and that's the fog lights. They are powered on with the accessory, so I can turn the car off and once I open the door, power dies. So this is the S-Tech system. Um, I made a little bracket right here to hold the 60 amp breaker. Resting voltage 12.3, that is our low voltage cutoff. Um, that's a slick little piece of kit that comes with this. You just wired into this harness. So the S-Tech bracket here, the S-Tech system, all of the additional power wires are right there that I can grab. I've got five more that I can get power from. The switch system is right here. Kick the fog lights on. There's our other five. We ran the wire up and I showed you previously into that boot. Um, and then behind the glove box and then it just comes right here. And the rest of the wire is kind of tucked up underneath there. It's a really clean it's a really clean kit to install guys we really like it it's good good it's good product, good product worth, he worth says your time, worth your money where's your time where's your money all right peace out bye